Hey everybody, Scott Golightly, estate planning attorney. Another quick update um, with a, another point that came up in a client meeting today. This has actually come up a few times in the last couple weeks, so I thought I'd go online about it. Um, does it. Do you guys know the difference between a living will and a DNR? I mean, that comes up a lot, okay? So when we're doing our planning, one of the documents we recommend in our practice is a living will, um, also called a living will advanced directive. Not a fun document to think about, certainly, but if I'm ever in a persistent vegetative state, terminally ill condition with no brain function, I want to be permitted to die naturally. And that's my declaration that that's what I want. So that's a legal document that you can execute. And you're telling everybody in the whole world that if you're ever under those, under those circumstances where you've had that persistent vegetative state and, and you're just you know, machines and meds are prolonging your dying process, you wish those things be removed. Um, that's a living will advanced directive. Uh, a lot of clients get that confused with what's called a DNR or do not resuscitate. Now in Virginia, a DNR is a document between you and your physician. Um, under a DNR, they're not going to do chest compressions, they're not going to ventilate you, um, even if you're just simply unconscious, right? I mean, we often see that with a really elderly or infirm and not with a young, healthy couples or people, I should say. So, um, you know, keep that in mind. We don't do DNRs here at our office. We do living wills and advanced directives, and there's a significant difference between the two, and I uh, just thought a quick video clarifying that would be helpful. Hope you guys are having a great Friday, and uh, take care.